All right, Cal, come on, get in the blender. Boo. Yeah, it's time for you to die. Get in there. Boo. Yeah, you gotta be a cheeseburger. Boo. Oh, God, it's like they know they're gonna die. Come on, get in the blender. Go, go, go. Boo. 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 How incredibly sad. Next! Ooh, a double quarter powder with cheese. That was a good cow. <laughs> oh, no, not another mad cow. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not going to be a cheeseburger. You're going in the incinerator. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? This cow has mad cow disease, so I got to burn him. No, you're not. You're going to make him into a cheeseburger. <laughs> but people are going to get sick. I don't care. Ronald McDonald only cares about making a profit. Now get in the blender. <laughs> Now get in the blender! <laughs> now sell it! Jeffy, get in here! I got you McDonald's for dinner! Um, Marvin, where's mine? You're vegan! Oh yeah, I forgot! Oh, dang, you got me McDonald's for dinner? That's peepy, daddy! Peepy! Eat your McDonald's, Jeffy! Alright, daddy! Usually you give me green beans for dinner! Not this time! Marvin! Um, Daddy, we need to go back to McDonald's because the fuckhead that worked there put a can of green beans in the box and said a double quarter pounder. That was me. Daddy, you know I hate green beans. Jeff, you have to clean up that mess right now. The hot food. Marvin, where's his double quarter pounder with cheese? I ate it. I'm going to eat the Big Mac too. Marvin, give him the Big Mac. But I'm so hungry. That's not fair, Marvin. Give him the Big Mac. All right, Jeffy, eat the Big Mac. All right. Oh, that looks good, Daddy. <laughs> Damn, Jeff, you ate that fast. Was it good? It fucking sucked! What, Jeffy? Calm down. What's wrong with you? I'm fucking pissed! Marvin, his eyes are all red. Is something wrong with him? It's Jeffy. There's always something wrong with him. Jeffy, use your words. What's wrong? Fuck you! Bitch! Jeffy, go to your room! He, he must have cracked out on all the sugar from the McDonald's. Marvin, do you hear that noise? <sighs> it's Jeffy. Let's go check on him. Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, stop it! Fuck this wall! Jeffy, come here! Hold still, Jeffy! Let me go! Milk my little head! Okay, I just put Jeff in a straight jacket. I'm gonna call a doctor to find out what's going on. I hope Jeffy's okay. Hey there, somebody call it. Ah! Excuse me, I was speaking. How incredibly rude. You know what, I'm gonna leave. No, 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 we need your help. But he shouted at me. That's why we called you, he won't stop shouting. Well, maybe he's just rude. No, look how mad his eyes are. Oh yeah, he does have very mad red eyes. You know, I haven't seen eyes that mad since Mad Eyes McGee. Mad Eyes McGee? Yeah, he's this guy I went to high school with who had very mad eyes. Do you want to know why his eyes were so mad? Can you explain it really quick? No, no, no. I have to explain it with this lovely little animation. So come on, relax, grab a drink, go on this journey with me. So when I was in high school, there was this guy named Mad Eyes McGee whose eyes were always mad. Everyone in school always wondered why his eyes were so mad. No matter what he did, he was mad. We went to the water park. Mad. We got ice cream. Mad. He got all A's on his report card. Mad. He met the Pope. Mad. Won the sweet life with Zack and Cody Goger Cruz and met Zack and Cody and Mr. Mosby. Mad. Found out in 1991, Mr. Mr. Mosby killed someone in a DUI accident because his blood alcohol content was three times the legal limit and he was sentenced to five years in jail but got out and won because he was good at acting. That's true, look it up. But that made him mad. He asked a girl out and she said yes. Mad. He won prom king. Mad. He won the high school football championship. Mad. For his 16th birthday, his parents got him a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon and guess what? Mad. Nothing seemed to make this dude happy. And I just couldn't take it anymore. So one day I asked him, Mad Eyes McGee, why are you so mad? And it turned out he had a stick up his ass. Not like the saying, either. I, I mean like an actual stick up his ass, just stuck up there. So he wouldn't let anyone take it out, so me and my friends got an idea. We decided to play tug of war, and I stood behind him. And when it was time to pull, I didn't pull the rope, I pulled the stick out of his ass. But when it came out, it ruptured his colon, and he had to get a colostomy bag. Then he was really mad eyes, McGee. Man, I just feel bad for making him have to poop in a bag for the rest of his life. I just thought if I pulled the stick out of his ass, it might make him happier. I guess I should have just left it up there. Anyway, you think your son might have a stick up his ass? You can check. Okay. Hemorrhoids! Well, I don't see the stick, but I do see the hemorrhoids. Okay, so what's making him so mad? Well, what was he doing before he got mad? He was eating McDonald's. Oh, no. What? Well, you're telling me those french fries are cold? I've been eyeing them, and I didn't have dinner. You can have one. Okay. Let's try that out. 
Ew, it's all cold and squishy, icky. Okay, why is he mad? Well, what was he eating from McDonald's? A cheeseburger. Oh no, he could have mad cow disease. How do you get mad cow disease? From eating meat from a cow with mad cow disease. Okay, so what makes you think he has mad cow disease? Well, he has mad eyes like a mad cow would have. No! And he just mooed. Is there a cure? Well, the only cure I can think of is if he ate meat from a very happy cow. A cow so happy that its happy meat somehow overpowered all the mad meat. Well, go get a happy cow! Okay, but first I have to go tell the news to make sure nobody else eats McDonald's and gets infected. Breaking news, okay? Do not eat at McDonald's. There is a case of mad cow disease from someone who ate at their restaurant. Eat somewhere else instead until they can get the disease under control. <laughs> who the shit is calling me? Hello? What do you want? I'm trying to sleep! Hey, Ronald, it's me, Steve. Steve! Baby! What's going on, Steve? Hey, Steve, you trying to hit the strip club? Stripper Steve! Big old big stripper titties in your face, Steve! Motorboat of shit! Steve! No, Ronald, we're in very serious trouble. What, did somebody let Grimace out of his cage again? No. Okay, well, is the Burger King making some... Bullshit commercial! Say his food is better than mine, Steve! No. Okay, we'll stop flapping your lips, Steve! Cause I'm starting to get impatient! Well, apparently we sold somebody a burger that was infected with mad cow disease. Okay, give him a refund. Well, Ronald, I think this is more serious than a refund. Okay, then write him a check for like two million dollars or some shit. Settle out of the court of shit, Steve! You know how we do it, baby. We'll be back in 15 minutes or less. But, Ronald, more people are going to get sick. Hey, hey, Steve, Steve, Steve. You remember that stupid-ass, dumb-ass old lady that spilled coffee on herself and then tried to settle out of court so we did the same thing, Steve? I'm starting to think we should put a warning label on the french fries so people know they're salty, Steve. Even a two-year-old knows that coffee is hot, Steve. Yes, I understand that, Ronald, but the FDA is breathing down our necks. Steve, don't talk to me about the DEA. I did all the coke last night. They got not going to fight shit on me. No, no, Ronald, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. Oh, those assholes. You, you know what, Steve? I got a genius idea. I'm going to hold an emergency press conference, and I'm going to tell people it's like Mayor McCheese's birthday or some shit and give them free McFlurries for a whole ass day. I'm going to see people walking down the streets double-fisting McFlurries. They're going to have so much ice cream in their stomachs. They're just going to shit the mad cow disease out their ass, Steve. Ronald, I don't think you should be giving a press conference. Steve! When's the last time I said something bad? It's my wife's funeral? Steve, all I said was rest in peace, you stupid, dumbass, bimbo, gold-digging slut whore. Thanks, Ronald. But hey, but seriously, God bless his soul or some shit, okay? Ronald, I just don't think you're fit to be speaking to the public. Steve, I'm sober, baby. Listen, no one's better fit to speak to the public than me. <laughs> but hey, I'm not shaving, though, but hey, you'll see me on TV. I'll talk to you later, baby. Breaking news, okay? Ronald McDonald is holding an emergency press conference about the mad cow disease outbreak. Let's go to that now. All right, let's get this shit over with. Hey, 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 calm down on the flash photography. I'm hung over as shit. Seriously, it's $5 a photo, and I will come by after to collect my money. <sighs> I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. It's six dollars a photo. And seriously, I will beat your ass if you don't pay me after this. So, I heard that some asshole kid got mad pig disease or some shit from eating my delicious, nutritious food. And I got one thing to say to him. Hey, kid. Guess whose birthday it is? Mayor McCheese. And because of his birthday, I'm going to give away free McFlurries for the day and today only. Hey, asshole, you think you got enough pictures? You tough guy, huh? Piece of shit! Where was I? Uh, yeah, two, a limited two McFlurries, 
per person, today only, I want everyone double fisting that shit. I want hashtag on your Instagram, hashtag I love Mayo McCheese, happy birthday, and also hashtag F you Burger King, your food sucks dick. That's right, I know you're watching this Burger King, and if my food has mad cow disease, then your chicken nuggets are made from the Wuhan bat, and your Whopper is made from the bubonic plague, you piece of shit. F you, turn off the TV, asshole. Oh, Ronald. Okay, I found a cow. Moo! Oh my god, Marvin, he's so cute! Who's a good little cow? Moo! Oh my god, Marvin, I love him! Can we keep him forever? No, we gotta kill him so Jeffy can eat him. What? No! Baby, we have to. Marvin, no! If you're gonna cry, you need to leave. <laughs> So how do we make the cow happy? Well, I could jerk him off. I don't think you have to do that. You're right, that should be our last resort. Okay, cow, sit back. I'm gonna give you a cowmedy show. Moo! Yeah, okay, so how do you count cows? Moo? With a cowculator. Moo! <laughs> yeah, you like that one? Okay, how about this one? What do you call a cow with no legs? Moo? Ground beef. Moo! No? Okay. okay. How about this one? Uh, what's black and white and red all over? Moo? You, when you cheer up. Because we're going to kill you. Boo! Oh, no. no. You didn't like that one either. Okay, okay. How about, how about this? Why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Moo? Because they lack toes. Moo! Yeah? No, good? Okay, he's happy. Quick, Jeffy, eat him! Quick, <laughs> swallow before he gets sad! Dang, look, I'm happy again! I knew that happy cow meat would overpower the mad cow meat. Looks like my work here is done. Hey there, I'm Steve Spielberger, here on behalf of McDonald's. McDonald's? We were gonna sue you guys because my son got mad cow disease from eating your burger. Well, we'd like to settle out of court. Ooh, Jeff, you're about to get a huge payday. I'm talking millions. One hundred dollars! That's it? Yeah, people are pretty distracted by those two free McFlurries. They're deep-throating that shit left and right. So here you go. Well, I'm the one who suffered, so this is mine. Hey, shoot him. He right there. He right there. He right there. See him? Hey, you just missed him. For me, you want to try? Nah, you got it. You got it. Hey, Black Yoshi. Well, man, make y'all's way. Fall and try to play the game. Yo, racist. Black Yoshi, can you watch Jeffy while I go to the store? No, man. Can't you see I'm playing Call of Duty? But Jeffy's going to stay right there. He'll be quiet, I promise. No. Jeffy, just stay right here. Black Yoshi's going to watch you. Black Yoshi, just watch it. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you think you can get your feet off my couch? Why? So you can enslave my ancestors again, white devil? What? Uh, never huh? mind. Never mind. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Black Ghost, you want to hear my new song? Yeah, man, put it on, folks. Hey, I'm about to put it on. Bitch ass nigga better pay me my money. I shoot you in the ass if you think it's funny. Oh man, I bars. But that baby ain't mine. She was mad ugly, but those titties was fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be famous, folks. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sing a song. Wait, but what? I ain't green, 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 I like carrots. I like carrots. I like carrots. I'm a dying to do fairy, do fairy, do fairy. Oop, 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 oop. Man, Jeffy, get that crap out of here, folks. Oh, my Jewish God. Did you hear that, Black Yoshi? Wait, wait, Jeffy, play that back again. Oh, man. I like it, I like it, I ain't green me, green me, green me, my hey. guy, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm feeling this! Hey, this is a hit, son! Hey, Jeff, you come with me, bring your shit! All right, Black Yoshi, I'm back from the store. Oh, fuck, real quick, can you pass me the what's the melon seeds? The what's a what? The what's the melon seeds, fo? You suck on them just like sunflower seeds taste real good, fo. Give me some. That's not what you do with watermelon seeds, Black Yoshi. <laughs> Man, yeah, then give me some! No, no, you use them to grow watermelon. Black Yoshi, where's Jeffy? Who? Jeffy, the, the kid I love with you. Who's that? Who Jeff is? The kid I love with you, Black Yoshi. Oh, Jeff is old dude uh, with the helmet on, pencil his nose, dab on outside. His yes, face. That, that that kid. Oh no. You don't know where he's at? <laughs> no, fool. Man, oh, oh, actually, I think he went with Tyrone. They said something about recording the song or something, folks. You let my kid go away with some guy named Tyrone? <laughs> yeah. Black Yoshi, where'd they go? Uh, something about recording the song. I think they went to the studio, folks. Where's that at? I don't even know. Oh my god, Blackie, I can't trust you worth anything. I don't know where Jeffy's at. What's up, nigga? What? Jeffy? What's up, daddy? I'm a gangster now. Jeffy, why are you dressed like that? Because I get fat holes, daddy. I'm talking fat ones. What? Yeah, your son, very talented. He can rap. What? Jeffy can't rap? Oh, yes, he can. He was in the room rapping, and I had to take him to the studio to do a song. Skeet, skeet, butthole, daddy. Yeah, yeah. What? I do not approve of this. Jeffy, take those clothes off. Hey, hey, his name ain't Jeffy anymore. It's J.V. 
J Fee. Yeah, J. yeah, daddy, I'm on that hood shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that hood shit. No, no, Jimmy, take these clothes off. I'm his father, and he's only 12 years old. I do not approve of this. Wait, wait, you didn't even see the music video yet. Hold music on, video? Hold yeah. on, daddy. I get mad hoes. I'm talking hoes butthole doing this. Fast as shit, daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. bang him and sling him, daddy. What does that even mean? Hell yeah. He what? won't understand, J Fee. He won't understand. Let's just show him the music video, all right? Uh, Watch it, daddy. Come on, come on, daddy. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I, I, you ready to see the dopest music video of 2017? Just show it to me. <laughs> I. Why? 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 Hey, Daddy, I smacked these hoes. I stuck my pee pee in some Cheerios. I got a pencil in my nose and I beat my diaper everywhere I go. Like the hot hot like a bunny, poop my pants and now it's running. I go ooh ooh. You think that's funny? I stuff my diaper with all my money. Jeffy, why? Why? Jeffy, don't do that. Why? Why? Jeffy, eat your green beans. Why? Why? Jeffy, don't poop your pants. Why? Why? Have piano solo. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, stop it! Why? Got a helmet on top of my hand. Spank my pee pee until it was red. Eat green beans, I'd rather be dead. It's 10 o'clock and I'm ready for bed. Hey daddy, I just uh, showed you how to poop on the track. So uh, I'm going to bed. I got my carrot on, got my bunny suit on. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> that bit bye. Now what you think? That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. What? <laughs> Jeffy, take those clothes off right now. But Danny, I get fat hoes. I don't care about the fat hoes, Jeff. You're not being a rapper and that's final. Oh, you sure about that? What? Would this change your mind? What, $10,000? Yeah, that's from the first song we did together. Yeah, Daddy, I'm paper chasing and pussy tasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not worth it, Jeffy. Take those clothes off right now. No, Daddy, you're just being a hater. I'm not being a hater. I'm being a good parent. I'm not going to let you degrade yourself like that. No amount of money is worth it. Oh, you sure about that, Daddy? What about this? Uh, that, 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 that's, that's a lot of paper. Yeah, it's $50,000. Now, all you got to do is let JV sign a little record deal so he can record some more music. Yeah, Daddy. Daddy got my eyes on the paper, cause that's all I want. Hey, now keep your eyes on this paper, Daddy. I mean, I mean that is a lot of money. And yeah, don't you want fifty thousand? Yeah, I've always known Jeffy had talent. It's just I want to make sure he's safe, you know. Oh, so. oh of course, of course. So I, I think we can make a deal as long as he's safe and we ma we make a good amount of money. Okay, okay, okay. That all sounds right. like a bet. All, all right. right. Now all we gotta do is let JP get arrested a couple of times, you know, to boost up his street cred. Arrested? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to boost his street cred. You feel me? I'm gonna murk hoes, daddy. No, the deal's yeah. off. The deal's yeah. off. No, the deal's off. No. Wait, wait, I already called the cops, though. You called the cops? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, go. Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm looking for a guy named Jay Fee. Right here. What? Yeah, Jay Fee, you're under arrest. Well, for what? Well, he shot an old woman and he opened somebody else's mail. What? That bitch had it coming, daddy. You opened someone else's mail, Jeffy? Yeah, daddy, I heard there was a CC's pizza gift card in there. You've never been to CC's in your life, Jeffy. It sounded good. What? Uh, sir, this is a mistake. He's only 12 years old. He, he can't really go to jail, can he? I, I mean, did you see the security footage? That shit was gangsta. What? I straight murked that bitch, daddy. You uh, see, he's even admitting it. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. But he's only 12. He's gonna go to jail for life. Oh, no, he's not gonna go to jail for life. You see, he, he's, he's famous, so he's probably gonna serve a few months at, at most. Uh I'm gonna stab some of those hood rats on the yard, Daddy. Yeah, okay, G. F. you're coming with me. Jeff, you're going to jail at the age of 12. How do you feel about that? I ain't do nothing, Daddy. You just admitted to You just admitted it, Jeffy. Oh, oh, my God. <sighs> so how did it go? How did it go? My 12-year-old son just got arrested. How do you feel? Ooh, how does all this money feel? Being this rich. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's nice having money, but my son's in jail right now. Look, it's all a part of the plan, Daddy. It's all a part of the plan. He's only gonna go to jail for a couple of months, get out, drop a new song, Get rich again, and then go back to jail. Go back to jail? Yeah, man, it's all a rinse method, you feel me? You know, wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Drop the song, get rich, go to jail. Well, uh, th that doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm telling you, it's all a part of the plan, Dad. Just let it work out, you feel me? Okay, I, I trust you. I mean, you got the money to speak for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, all I'll, I'll just wait a couple of months until Jeffy gets out. <laughs> all right. Breaking news, good. Up and coming rapper Jay Fee is breaking records nationwide with his hit new single, Why. If you ever heard it, go listen to it right now, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Who's this Jay Fee? Still in my name? 
Oh, I'm gonna show him. Yeah, I'm gonna show him. <coughs> D. Addy! What's up, Cracker? Jeffy, you're out of jail? Hells yeah. What, what, how was jail, Jeffy? I got raped in my butthole, Daddy. That, 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 that's not a good thing, Jeffy. Yeah, it is, Daddy. I got my street cred up. You don't have street cred when you're raping the butthole, Jeffy. Yes, I do, Daddy. Hey, Daddy, you want a you wanna rim job? What? Yeah, I can put rims on your car, Daddy. I got spinners, I got floaters, I also got like Sonny and Asante rims, Daddy. Jeffy, that's not what a rim job means. Yeah, it is. Well, 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 your song is number one in the country. Hell yeah, Daddy. You hear it everywhere. That shit's straight fire. JC. Oh, Daddy, this is my bitch right here. See her? Yeah. What? Ah! You just smacked her, Jeffy! Hell yeah, Daddy, I smack him and send him to bed. I don't love these hoes. Uh, yeah, I just got a domestic violence call. Did you just smack that woman? Yep. Okay, what? yeah, that was me. We're, yeah, we're going back to jail. Well, Jeffy, you just got out of jail! It ain't nothing new, Daddy. These streets are hard as shit, Daddy. Come on, come on, Jeffy. All right. I'll see you in a few months, Jeffy. Bye, Daddy. <sighs> What up, Vanilla Biscuit? What, Jeffy, you're out of jail again? What it look like, Donnie? Oh, well, how was jail this time, Jeffy? Donnie, it was great. I got my PP -pee pierced while I was in prison. What, you got your PP -pee pierced? Hell yeah, Donnie. And they did it with a rusty nail, and they messed up the first couple times, so now my PP -pee looks like a flute. That's gross, Jeffy. Yeah, Donnie, and the hose blow like one, too, like... <laughs> Yo, JP! I'm glad to see you out of jail, gangster. What's up, Team Money? What? Man, nothing much. I got some devastating news, though, man. What, what, what is that? It could hurt your career. I hate to say it, but somebody dropped a diss song on you, man. What? what? Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Toad, man. He dropped a diss song like a yesterday because he heard your song. Who's Toad? Oh, man. He one of the hottest rappers out right now. He been out for a couple of years, but yeah, he heard your song, and then I guess, I guess he was mad. You know what I'm saying? So... He, he had to drop a diss song, and I, I think you got to drop one now. Let me hear this diss track. Yeah, I'd love to hear the diss song. Is it really that bad? Yeah, man, it's bad. Oh, man. Yo, I heard somebody out here think they best. They better than Toad Milk. Yo, Jeff, you need to sit down somewhere before I roast you. Ooh, wait, it's too late. Oh. You think you're the best, but you're the worst. What? So what does that mean? I think JP need to go to the studio and drop a diss song against Toad. Right now, you need to fire back as soon as possible. Because if you don't, this could be the end of your career. You could lose all the money, the bitches, the clothes, the hoes, all of it as soon as possible, bro. Uh, 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 Jeffy, get in the studio right now. Make a diss track. Yeah. All right, Daddy. Let me get my cat piano. Let's go, Jeffy. Cat piano. Uh, money. Get it, get it. Toad in your ball, hoy. You like screen being down during the pool finish jammies. Oh, what is that? Yo, Jeffy, it's Toad. Let's sell this beef. Meet me under the street light outside. Alright, Toad. Where's he at? has been shot multiple times by his rival Toad. Sad day in America. Oh my god, Jeffy, I can't believe you got shot! <sighs> Daddy, it hurts, but, but I'm like Tupac. You're not like Tupac, because you're not going to die. You're more like 50 Cent. You just got shot, but you're going to be fine. JP, JP, you all right, son? He just got shot. He's not doing all right. Wait, wait, he got shot? Yes, by Toad. Oh, damn. 
his rap career over with now. What, what it is? Yeah, he got shot, man. He, he the one that got shot. It's over with. You ain't gonna have no more money, no what? more hoes, nothing. What, what, what? No more hoes? Nothing. Well, wait, well, the money got to us. I, I should have never let this happen. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out here. I'm out, though. I should have chose my, my son instead of the money. Yeah, yeah, the rap game's pretty tough. Sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this, Jeffy. I should have never let you do it. Hey, Doc, can you take a look at one more thing? Uh, yeah, sure. My, uh, my pee pee looks like a flute. <laughs> wow. Tacos gave me diarrhea, diarrhea, diarrhea. Tacos gave me diarrhea, and it is in my pants. Jeffy, stop it. Don't sing about stuff like that. It's gross. Somebody is at the door, at the door, at the door. Somebody is at the door, and there is diarrhea in my pants. <sighs> Uh, hello? Give it to me. What? Give what to you? Your house payment, Mario! It's not due till midnight, and it's only 8 o'clock. It's midnight somewhere in the world! Well, look, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make my payment tonight. Mario, if you don't pay your house payment by midnight tonight, do you know what I'm gonna do to you? What? Purple nurple. What? Purple nurple? I'm gonna take your nipple in this hand. See this hand, Mario? I'm gonna take your nipple in this hand and twist really hard! I'm gonna take this hand and pick up where I left off and twist really hard! I'm gonna take this hand one more time. See this hand, Mario? See it? Bring it around town and squeeze and twist really hard. And this hand one more time. Pick up where I left off and twist really hard. This hand, Mario, one more time. Look at this hand. Watch it. Bring it around town and twist really hard. And uh, I'm going to rip your nipple clean off your chest, Mario. See right here? What do I have in my hand? Uh, your what? nipple. Guess what I'm going to do with your nipple, Mario? Ah. Mm, mm. Yummy your nipple. Well, that, that seems like it's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, I've only done it twice in my life before. The guy, the guy that I did it to, guess what his name is? What? No Nipple Tim. Guess how many house payments No Nipple Tim has missed? Uh, how many? Zero. So if you miss your house payment tonight, Mario, your nickname's gonna be No Nipple Mario. See you later, No Nipple Mario. Kinda has a ring to it. Oh, my poor nipples. What's wrong, Danny? Well, Jeffy, if I don't come up with $2,000 by tonight, I'm gonna lose my nipples. Well, I don't have nipples, see? That's gross, Jeffy. I just need quick money tonight. Yo, yo, yo! Do you need money tonight? Then enter in your most fire rap song into the rap song competition, and you can win $50,000. $50,000? Just to make some stupid little rap song? I can do it. It can't be that hard. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Mario. I really need some money. If I don't get it, then my nipples will be gone -y? I don't know. This is stupid. I'm just gonna ask Black Yoshi to make a rap. Hey, Daddy, I can make a rap. No, you can't, Jeffy. Yeah, I can, Daddy. I just need a saxophone. A saxophone? Show, Daddy. What'd you think? 
Jimmy, that was ridiculous. I can't believe you submitted that. You're not going to win. Man, Daddy, stop hating. When that big drops, it's going to be straight fire. It's going to be topping charts and tasting farts. I'm going to need a snorkel, Daddy. A snorkel for what? For all the wet kitty I'm going to be swimming in. W wet kitty? Oh, yeah. I'm talking wet. Soaking wet. Meow. Who's that? Uh, Jeffy, just stay right here. All right, Daddy. Uh, hello? Hey, is Jay Fee here? What, Jay Fee? Yeah, Jay Fee. Uh, Jeffy's here. No, 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 not no Jeffrey. Jay Fee. Look, anyway, I got $50,000 that he won in a rap contest. Well, he actually won the contest? Yeah, man. Oh, come on inside, come on inside. All right, all right. All right, so I uh, sit right here. Jeffy, Jeffy, get in here. So Jeffy really won? Yeah, he sent us the hardest rap song. Good job, boss members. Jeffy, you won the $50,000 rap contest. I knew that bill was hot. Yep, you beat everybody in the competition. So here's $50,000, because you're the win. Who is that? Uh, I don't know. Hold on, I'll get it. Uh, hello? Yo, Mario, is the rap judge here? What, rap judge? Yeah. Well, there's a guy here giving us $50,000 for a rap song. What? Man, look at all this paper. Yup, and it's all yours. Wait, that's so fast. Who are you? Man, somebody get this skin mark off my table. I'm told it. I'm here to submit a song to the contest. Don't waste your time. Well, yeah, he's right. It's kind of too late to submit a song, but I kind of do want to hear another song, so go ahead and send me your song. Let me see. I think I got third degree burns on my face. So which song was the most fire? Huh, well, they were both pretty fire, but I got a thing for butts, so I'm gonna go with that one. Woohoo! I won! That's BS! Yeah, Jeffy's song was better! Well, the firefighter has spoken. I'm gonna go to the hospital now. Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe you lost. 
Well, Jeffy, I guess you can say bye-bye to my nipples. Bye-bye, guys, nipples. I was supposed to get $2,000 by tonight. Oh, Dad, I got this. What? $10,000? Yep. Where'd you get that at, Jeffy? Oh, I stole it off the pile of money. What, you stole it? Yeah, Daddy. I'm about that life. I'm on that gangster shiz. Well, well, I guess my nipples are saved. Yay, Daddy's nipples. Let's celebrate, Daddy. Let me grab my hoe. What? Hoe? There you go, Daddy. My main hoe. All right, Jeffy. It's time for you to do your chores. Jeffy, go do your chores. You have to take out the trash and do the dishes. Jeffy, what are you doing? You've reached the voicemail of Jeffy. Please leave a message after the... Mm, mm. Jeffy, it's time for you to do your chores, so go do your chores right now. For English, press 1. For Spanish, press 2. Jeffy, I'm not playing this game. <sighs> you chose Spanish. No, I chose English. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Stop speaking Spanish, Jeffy. Si papi, si papi, si papi, yo quiero más papi. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go do my chore. <sighs> <sighs> Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hey, fat boy, Scooter needs some money. Scooter needs some money? Yep, Scooter gonna buy a new scooter. All right, well, good luck with that. But hey, fat boy, I need some money. Well, then go work for your money. Well, for $20, I'll eat your grass. You'll eat my grass? Yep, and for $21, I'll take the GR away. You'll take the GR away? Yep, and grass. Okay, well, look, I don't need you to eat my grass. That thing back there eats my grass. That thing ate your grass? Yes. Owie! Yeah, well look, how about you just go get a different job and go get go make some money? But where am I supposed to work? Go be a rapper. Like, in the North Pole? Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go go wrap presents at the North Pole, yeah, with Santa Claus. Okay. <sighs> Jeffy, did you do your chores? Uh, nope. Uh, go do them? Uh, I don't have to. Uh, you do have to? Uh, uh, nah, nah. uh, uh yeah, uh-huh. Uh, yeah, uh, uh-huh. Uh, Jerry, just go do it! Daddy, I came to the conclusion, after thinking for a while, that you can't tell me what to do. Well, yes, I can tell you what to do. Why? Because I'm your dad. Why? Because I adopted you. Why? I ask myself that question every day. Why did I adopt you? Hey, fat boy, thank God I made food or an elf. What? How'd you get in my house? But he wasn't hiring. Well, Do I have some money? Well, no, you can't have any money. But I'll pay you back. How are you going to pay me back if you don't have money? I'll eat your grass for $20. I don't need you to eat my grass. But you can take the G. Uh, no, 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 no. Take it away the letters. Just leave, please. But what am I supposed to do? Go go be a rapper. Like on the candy? No, no like go sing a song. Good another song. <sighs> sing it. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamp. I don't know the rest of this song. Oh, okay, that was good. Now go to Hollywood and sing it. Okay. Yeah, that, that's how you make your money. That was fire, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, go do your chores. I don't want to do it. Go on. Ow, okay. Ow, Come on, Jeffy. You gotta do this. Ow, 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 ow. Jeffy, you have to do the dishes and take out the trash. All right, Daddy. Well, why don't you go ahead and sit in the trash can? Because you're trash. Jeffy, you face. Do the dishes, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. And just make them go away. And just I don't want to see them in the sink when I get back. Can do, Daddy. Well, this little plate went to the market. And this little piggy had roast beef. And this little plate went wee, wee, wee all the way home. And this little plate just hit the floor really hard. And this little plate, screw it. <sighs> Daddy, I'm done with my chores. Jeffy, there's no way you're done with your chores already. Yes, there is, because I'm just that MF and good. What's that, my pets? What, Scooter? My name ain't Scooter no more. It's SC Uter. SC Uter? Yep, and you can put that in your pooter. What, what, you became a rapper now? Sure I did, and I made some money. You made some money? See? You made a hundred dollars? And that ain't even from rapping. That's from eating grass. E eating grass? Yep, see how much it is? I definitely took away the GR. Uh, well, did you make a song? I sure did. It's on YouTube. I'm gonna grab my phone so we can watch it. All right, I got my phone. Everyone, see? I got my phone. Let's watch Scooter's music video. Yo, 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 here comes Scooter. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? Yeah. You wanna fight? Okay. You wanna fight? What? Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? All right. You wanna fight? That's right. You wanna fight? Good night. Hey, fat boy. You wanna fight? Come out! You wanna fight? Let's go! You wanna fight? You're fat! Hey, fat boy! My name is Scooter! It is! Look at my shirt! Look at it! It says Scooter! It does! I ride my Scooter! I do! Down the street! Look my face! I can't be beat! First place! So take a seat! Sit down! I go to the Walmart! Walmart. In my shopping cart! Buggy! I hold it in my fart! Hey, you. Eat my pop tart! They're yummy! I'll make you cry! Mm -hmm. Punch you in the eye! Ouch! Fart on your face! 
and give you pink eye. Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? Yeah. You wanna fight? Okay. You wanna fight? What? Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? All right. You wanna fight? That's right. You wanna fight? Then that. Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? Come out. You wanna fight? Let's go. You wanna fight? Yes, sir. Man, oh man, was that a hot beat? It's getting hot here. The crew's gonna take him further. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. But the women like it. They take their poop makers in my face. P.U. Danny, that song was straight fire. Well, he'll never make any money from it. But I made $10,000 already. You already made $10,000? Yeah, I put in my 401k. I get an 8% return a year annually, 365 days. I'll be a millionaire by the time I take you five. No old folks off for scooter. <sighs> Oh, hold on, let me answer the door. Uh, hello? Hey Mario, guess what day it is? Oh no, what? It's your time of the month. I hate my time of the month. Yeah, women say that all the time. But it's give me your house payment day. Well, I don't have my house payment this month. Mm-mm-mm. Wait, is that a light bulb? Yeah, because I thought it would be a bright idea for you to pay your house payment. Well, I don't have it this month. Mm, I was afraid you were gonna say that. So I did this. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, I drew you on a light bulb. And if you don't pay your house payment, this is gonna be you. So pay your house payment by the end of the night, or that's gonna be you, Mario. Uh, Have a good night. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh man, I gotta pay Goodman by tonight. Where am I gonna get the money? Uh, 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 Scooter! Uh, that's not my name! Uh, SC Ooter! Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? No, Scooter. I was wondering if... Oh, this is gonna sound so weird. I was wondering if I can borrow some money. Well, well, well. Look where the cat drug in. I know, I know. You asked me for money and I said no, and now I'm asking you for money. Well, well, well. Looks like the shoes are on my feet. No, you mean the shoes on the other foot? No, look, I got shoes on both my feet. And if the shoe fits, I wear them. Okay, look, I just want to borrow some money to pay my house payment. I promise I'll pay you back. Well, well, well. Has the tie tie turned. Look, I, I know, I know. You asked me for money and now I'm asking you for money, but I promise I'll pay you back. Well, well, well. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yeah, I know, because you said you'd pay me back, and now I'm saying I'll pay you back. Look, I just really need to borrow some money. Well, well, well. Deja vu. I know, because I'm saying exactly what you said, and I didn't let you borrow money, and now you're saying that to me. Well, well, well. You sound like a broken record. I know, because I'm begging for money, and look, all I want to do is borrow some money, please. Well, well, well. You're barking up the wrong tree. Look, can I borrow some money or not? Well, well, well. You got a taste of your own medicine. I did. I got a taste of my own medicine. So can I please borrow some money? I promise I'll pay you back. Well, well, well. You don't know which way the wind's blowing. What? Well, well, well. The grass ain't greener on the other side. No. Oh, you know what? You can just leave. Look, I'm not going to borrow money. Just leave. Well, well, well. <sighs> How am I going to get the money now? Well, Danny, I can give you the money. Wait, you have the money, Jeffy? Sure I do, Danny. I got all them merch sales, babe. Wait, Jeffy, you'd really give me the money for my house payment? Sure, Danny, but I want you to rap and ask me for the money. But rap and ask you for it? Jeffy, I can't rap. Sure you can, Danny. Drop that sick beat. Yo, yo, yo. It's me, Mario. About to ask Jeffy a question. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Warren. Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Warren. Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Please, Jeffy. Can I borrow some money? No. I just need some money. No. Can I have some money? No. How was that? Um, I'll give you 50 bucks for that song, Danny. Oh, 50 bucks? I mean... I mean, I need more than this, but I mean, it's a good start. Jeffy, how can I get more of the money? Um, well, if you do whatever I say for the rest of the... Well, wait, hold on. How much longer does this video need to be? Like, two more minutes? So if you do whatever I say for the next two minutes, then I'll give you the rest of the money, Daddy. Okay, okay, well, what, what do you want? Um, give me a horn. A, a horn? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, all right. All right, Jeffy, I got you your horn. Yeah, not that type of horn. Actually, wait a minute, let me see what kind of horn do you want, Jeffy? A unicorn horn. How am I supposed to get a unicorn horn? Well, go find a unicorn and take his horn. Uh, all right, Jeffy, I got the unicorn horn. <laughs> are you happy now? <laughs> Jeffy, talk to me. Are you happy with your horn? <laughs> Jeffy, are you happy with your horn or not? <laughs> Jeffy, can I get the money now? <laughs> Actually, Daddy, I want a squishy snake now. Where do I get a squishy snake at, Jeffy? Oh, I don't know. I'll go try to find you one. 
<laughs> All right, Jeffy, I got your squishy snake. Oh, thanks, gang. Stop trying to hit me. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. I can't have the money now. Get me. All right, gang, there's one more thing I need you to do. Do what? Follow me. Ow. All right, gang, the only thing I need you to do now is clean up the mess I made for when I washed the dishes. Well, what, what mess did you make? <gasps> Why'd you do that, Daddy? Why'd you even do that? Get your sweeping, Daddy. I'm not gonna clear up your mess. Oh, well, then you don't want the money, then? I, I, I do need the money, but you can't tell me what to do. Oh, well, then get your sweeping if you want the money, Daddy. <sighs> I finally cleaned up your mess, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. And okay, here's your rest of the money. I have the money to pay my house payment now. Yep, just don't ever make me do chores ever. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to ask you to do chores because you don't know how to do them right. You just make a big mess. Yep. So, what do we do now? Drop that sheep beat! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Jeffy, why are you singing that song? Marvin, it's not his birthday, is it? I don't think so. Because it's our birthday, now. Nice. Well, it's your birthday. Oh, no, Marvin, it is his birthday. How could we forget? I don't know. You ever forgot my birthday? Forget your birthday. We just thought it was tomorrow. That means you forgot. Ah! You forgot. give you the best birthday party ever, like, uh, with a cake and confetti. Baby, go get a cake. Okay. With confetti. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we'll give you the best birthday ever. So, let's start with your birthday dinner. Where do you want to go for your birthday dinner? Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Yeah, I want a bean taco from Taco Bell. All right, that's easy. All right, let's go to Taco Bell. All right. Thank you for tasting Taco Bell. What can I get started for you today? Uh, just one second. What do you want, Jeffy? I want a taco. Okay, with beans. With beans? Yep, just beans. Only beans and shell. Uh, okay. And don't forget the hot sauce. Don't forget, okay. Can I get a taco? Alright, that's one crunchy taco. What else for you? And hot sauce. 182, please start around. Don't forget the hot sauce. If you forget the hot sauce, I swear I'm gonna I'm gonna steal the taco bell shot. They're not gonna forget the hot sauce. Alright, good. All right, Jeffy, just sit right here and eat your Taco Bell because I think Mommy's almost done setting up your party downstairs. All right, Daddy. Everything's set up, Marvin. Everything's set up? Yep. So you got a cake? Yes. With candles? Uh-huh. And confetti? Yeah. You gotta be shitting me! Jeffy, language! What's wrong, Jeffy? Those efforts forgot my hot sauce! Jeffy, stop saying efforts. No, they forgot my hot sauce, Daddy! They didn't forget the hot sauce. I told them like 15 times. Well, it's not in there. Well, can you just eat it without hot sauce? No, I wanted hot sauce for my bean taco. Do you know what that means? They're gonna get their Taco Bell sign stolen. We're not stealing a Taco Bell sign, Jeffy. Yes, we are. No, we're not, Jeffy. Let's just eat your taco. And look, there's a cake downstairs. Let's go blow out the candles. No, I gotta go steal their Taco Bell sign. No, Jeffy, let's go blow out the candles on your cake and celebrate your birthday. Come on. And then we get to go steal the Taco Bell sign. Surprise! It's not a surprise because you already told me about it. Jeffy, look, she got you a cake and plates. Who emptied a paper shredder all over the table? It's confetti, Jeffy. It's fun. Wait, so fun. Look, Jeffy, we're going to sing you happy birthday, then you're going to blow out your candles, and then we'll get you whatever you want. Okay. Happy birthday to you. We weren't done singing. All right, the first thing I want for my birthday is everyone who's watching this thing to go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. Did you do it? All right, great. Thanks for my birthday present. But Jenny, everyone who didn't do it has no friends. Jenny, what do you really want for your birthday? Well, what I really want for my birthday is the Taco Bell shop. Jeffy, we can't get you the Taco Bell sign. Well, they ruined my birthday, so I'm gonna ruin their business by stealing their shop. Baby, we have to go get the Taco Bell sign. Marvin, you can't steal the Taco Bell sign. It's illegal. <sighs> Jeffy, we can't get you the Taco Bell sign. <laughs> Worst birthday ever! I'm gonna keep screaming until I get the Taco Bell sign! <sighs> we'll get you the Taco Bell sign. Marvin, you better not! Come on, Jeffy, let's go get the stupid sign. <gasps> All right, Jeffy, what part of the sign do you want? I want the big bell and the one that says taco. All right, I'm gonna get a ladder and let's go up there and get it. All right. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's your Taco Bell sign. Best daddy ever! Marvin, you did it! Well, it's the only thing he wanted for his birthday. That'll teach him for forgetting my hot sauce. How did you even do that? It's called a drill, Mommy. And a ladder. Why? Well, we forgot Jeffy's birthday, and I felt bad, so I thought, you know, if we got the Taco Bell sign, he'd be happy. And isn't it worth it to see that smile on his face?
What are you going to do when they notice? They're not going to notice. Everybody knows where Taco Bell is. They don't need a sign. Oh, you're going to go to jail. I'm not going to go to jail. Taco Bell has like a billion dollars. They can just buy another sign. That's not the point, Marvin. It's wrong. What well, wrong, schmong. Marvin, what's the news? Breaking news, okay? Someone has stolen the sign off of the Taco Bell, and no one can tell what restaurant it is. Police are holding a live press conference now. Let's go to that. Thanks, Goodman. As you can see from this picture here, this is the Taco Bell. I, I think. See, I don't know, because there's no sign out front because somebody stole it. You know, so, so restaurants have signs in front of them so that you know where you're going. But now nobody knows what's going on. Customers keep coming into the Taco Bell and they're ordering Baconators, thinking it's Wendy's or something. And the workers don't know what's going on either. They're in there trying to make Big Macs with burrito supplies. It's chaos. So listen up. Whoever stole that sign, we're coming for you. Oh, no. Marvin, I don't want any part of this illegal activity. I'm leaving for a couple of days. Oh, baby, no. Come back. Jeffy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just polishing my brand new Taco Bell sign. I love it so much. Well, you better love it, because now the cops are looking for us. Oh, 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 help me! Oh, Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, Daddy, I'm stuck. I think my legs are broken. It is the worst part day ever. Please get the sign off me. Look, I'll get it. Uh, are you sure your legs are broken? Yeah, they are! They are! I need you to call a doctor! I can't call a doctor, Jeffy, because they're looking for the people who stole the Taco Bell sign. And if I call a doctor, they're going to see that we're the people who stole the Taco Bell sign. Then what are we going to do? I don't know. Oh. 315, 315, 315, 318, 319, 320. Wait a minute. It's today. Jeffy's 18th birthday is today. I'm rich. I just got to get out of this stupid prison first. All right. Time for me to use my sexy charm to escape. Hey there, big boy. Shut up, inmate. I'm trying to figure out who stole this Taco Bell sign. Ugh, my back is killing me. Oh, well, I could give you a back massage if you let me out of this cell. No, 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 no. What if you escape? Oh, come on. I wouldn't do that. I love it here. I got my own bed, my own toilet. It's paradise. Oh, I do really want a back massage. Okay, fine. I'll let you out for five minutes to massage my back, but then you're going right back in your cell. Okay. All right, now I let you out. I really need you to get between my shoulder blades because that's where all my stress is. Okay. <laughs> I knocked him out. I'm free. Oh, damn. They still jump. All right, Jeffy, I wrapped your legs in paper towels. It kind of looks like a cast. But they still hurt, Daddy. Well, if you sit really still and keep your legs straight, eventually they'll heal straight. That's how that works. I don't know, Jeffy. I'm not a doctor. Well, then call one. We can't call a doctor, Jeffy, because of your stupid birthday gift. It's illegal. Oh, oh no. Who's that? I'll handle you. Just stay right here and don't make any noise. Okay. All right. If it's the cops, I'm going to say, what Taco Bell sign? Yeah, that'll work. Hello? Surprise! Ow. My legs hurt so bad. Jeffy, it's Mommy. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and Mommy's going to get paid. Today's not my 18th birthday, it's my 17th birthday. <laughs> nice try, Jeffy, but I've been counting the days in prison. Now come here! Ah! Uh, find my fugitive app says she's in here somewhere. Uh... Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you? Uh, Jeffy's mom, she hit me in the face with a mallet. Oh my god, so she is in here. Help me! Jeffy! Come on, let's go upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. Upstairs? Yeah, that's where your son is. Uh... He's gonna see the Taco Bell sign. Oh, no, let's not go upstairs. They can come down here. Can y'all guys come down here? What are you talking about? Let's go! But can I help you? Uh, just don't look this way. Okay, whatever. Don't come any closer. I'm gonna bonk them. Nancy, why did you escape from prison? Well, it's prison. It sucks. What do you mean? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But why today? Well, today's Jeffy's 18th birthday, and I'm gonna inherit all his money. Well, actually, he's gonna inherit his father's money, and then I'm gonna take his money, but I'm still getting the money! Well, that, that, today's not Jeffy's 18th birthday, it's his 17th birthday. No, 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 I've been counting! Well, no, actually, today is his 17th birthday, and I know, because it's also my birthday. Oh, damn it. Yeah, everybody sing happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you!
Thank you. That was very nice. What will it be? <laughs> oh, okay, Nancy. Seriously, it, it actually is his 17th birthday. Oh, well, I guess I messed up. Must have counted wrong. It's okay. I'll just break out next year. Yeah, you go ahead and try that. What are you doing over there? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that the Taco Bell sign? God oh, damn it. Okay, who stole this? Uh, it was Nancy. No, no, it's not me. Yeah, yeah, it was you. When you came over, you, you brought the sign with you. No, no, it couldn't have been her. She was in jail when it got stolen. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna take her back to jail. Then I'm coming back over here. Come on. Oh, no. Jimmy, what do we do? Oh, no, Daddy. Get in there. Congratulations. You just added five years to your sentence. No! 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 Where did I go wrong? Seventeen! Okay, so Jeffy's 18th birthday is next year. And next year, I'm gonna get you, Jeffy! She's in jail. Now who's next to go to jail? Who stole this sign? All right, officer. Look, it's my son's birthday, and all he wanted for his birthday was a Taco Bell sign. So I stole it for him for his birthday. Really? You met a felony for your son's birthday? It's actually really sweet. I wish somebody would commit a felony for my birthday. <laughs> oh, cheer up. I bet someone will commit a felony for your birthday one day. Really? Do you think so? Hold on, I got an idea. Hey, Jeffy, there's two parts to your Taco Bell sign. Do you think we can give one to the police officer?
Juju! Is this true, Mr. Jew? That is correct! He tried to kill me! I didn't try to kill him, it was someone else! You had bag of pee until your death, so you had to be the one that threw it! It wasn't me! Ah, oh, yes, the shaggy defense. Should I be on camera? It wasn't me! Well, Mr. Junior, you're not the first kid to try to kill their teacher, and you certainly won't be the last. But if I let you go now, you might try to kill him again. So I have no choice but to find you mutated and sentence you to death by electric chair! Tonight, I see you later. Electric chair? Come on, dead boy. Or soon to be dead boy. Get in there, you. Oh, I don't want to die. Crime. Okay, so you do get a last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So we'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. Would you like a drink while you wait, or maybe some breadsticks, Caesar salad? I'm too sad to eat. Okay. Um, um, that, that's the visitor doorbell. We put a doorbell in so that the death row inmates know when they have visitors. We made it sound like a home doorbell, because the death row inmates are never going home, because they're going to die. I'll get it! Hey, Jenny. Hey, guys! Oh, dude, I heard you dying tonight. That sucks. I'm gonna say hi to my dad when you get to hell. How do you know I'm going to hell? Mm, I just had that feeling, dude. Well, Joseph, Junior's not dying tonight, because we're gonna get him out of here. You're gonna break me out of jail? No, we're not going to jail for you, but we are gonna prove your innocence. How do you know I'm innocent? Well, because if you had actually thrown that peanut, you would have said, Hey, guys, look what I'm about to do before you did it, because you like to show off. Yeah, you like to blow, dude. You're right. If I would have threw that peanut, I would have told you guys I was gonna do it first. Yeah, exactly. We don't know who threw that peanut, but me and Joseph are gonna find out. In the meantime, you need to buy time. How am I gonna buy time, Cody? They're gonna kill me tonight. But before they execute you, they have to give you your last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So just make sure you ask for something impossible for them to get, like something that could take days or even weeks for them to get, so they have to postpone your execution. Will that really work? Yeah, it's your last meal. They have to give you whatever you want. Okay, I'll, I'll ask for something really hard to get. Okay, come on, Joseph. Let's go find out who threw that peanut. Okay, gotta order something really hard. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. How can I take your order? But, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Death Row. How can I take your order? Sorry, I haven't been a server since I worked at Applebee's. What do you want? So I can literally order whatever I want. Yeah, literally whatever you want and as much as you want, too. I mean, we can do crazy stuff. Like John Wayne Gacy, that crazy guy who dressed up like a clown and ate kids. He ordered a dozen deep fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC's original recipe chicken, french fries, a pound of strawberries, and a bottle of Diet Coke. And then this other guy, James Edward Smith, he wanted a lump of dirt. So we can do pretty much anything. Okay, so, uh... I want you to go to the top of Mount Everest, and I want you to find a bald eagle's nest, and steal an egg, mm -hmm. and cook it sunny side up. Sunny side up, good choice, good choice. I want you to go to the Marianas Trench, okay, yeah. and kidnap a bunch of baby octopuses. Ooh, okay, baby octopus. And I want you to get a Papa John's pizza, a pepperoni one, and I want you to take the pepperonis off, and put the octopuses on the pizza. Oh, okay, octopus pizza. And I want Papa John to say a racial slur at the pizza. Okay, that should be more. And then I want you to go to the Sahara Desert, and find a blue cactus. Okay. And I want to eat that. I want uh, two Big Macs, but I want the Big Macs from somewhere where they worship cows. What, like India? Yeah, yeah, get a cow from India, the most worshipped cow in India. Okay. Yeah, I want that, I want that to help you make the meat from the Big Macs. I want a two month expired can of ravioli from Chef Wendy. Uh, does it have to be two months? Has to be two months expired. Okay, okay, got uh, what day is it? On Sunday. Oh, I want Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. So I still want it. Okay, you got it. Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. Uh, anything to drink with that? Uh, I want you to go to Tatooine and go to McDonald's and get blue milk. And I want George Lucas to taste test for me. Tasted by Lucas. Got it. And uh, anything for dessert? Uh, the crust of uh, Pop-Tarts. Just the crust? Only the crust. I only like the crust. Oh, me too. Okay, so uh, I'll go get all this stuff, but it might take a little while, so your execution might not be tonight. Sorry about the inconvenience, but I'll get this going and you just sit tight, okay? Alright, Joseph. Let's look around the classroom and see if we can find any clues that prove Junior's innocent. Okay, dude. Oh, gotta find some evidence. Let me check all these desks. Hmm. What a silly drawing. Oh, I gotta find some evidence! Oh my god, Joseph, look! Oh, what's up, dude? There's a security camera of the classroom. It shows Billy grabbing a peanut off Junior's desk and throwing it at the teacher. I'll record it with my phone and show it to the cops. Come on, let's go! Uh, Cody, where are you? Order up! You actually got all the food? Hell yeah, I did. This is your last meal. Okay, so this is your sunny side up bald eagle eggs from the top of Mount Everest. This is your blue milk from the McDonald's on Tatooine. This is your blue cactus from the Sahara Desert. These are your Big Macs from India. This is your two-month-old expired Chef Boyardee ravioli. This is your Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. And this is your baby octopus pizza that Papa Jones himself personally yelled a racial slur at. He even yelled a racial slur at the garlic sauce. I didn't even want him to. He actually wouldn't stop yelling racial slurs. He speaks entirely in racial slurs now. Oh, and also, this is your Pop-Tart crust. How did you get all this? Oh, it was not easy. Let me tell you the story. 
So I hopped on a non-stop flight to Nepal, because that's where Mount Everest is, and then I hired a Sherpa to take me up to the top of the mountain. But about halfway up Mount Everest, my Sherpa died, so I had to make the rest of the hike on my own. But when I got to the top of Mount Everest, I saw a bald eagle's nest, and I thought, wow, this is gonna be easy. So I grabbed one of the eggs, and then all of a sudden this eagle swooped down and punched me right in the face. Like he punched me, like he didn't scratch me. He balled up his talons and punched me in the face. So I started throwing haymakers. I started punching him in his face. And then the eagle held me down and started pecking at my eyes, and then he threw me off the top of Mount Everest, and I fell all the way back down to the bottom. But I still had the egg in my hand, so I got that. So then I hopped on another non-stop flight to Guam, and then from there I took a submarine out into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, and I saw a family of octopi. So then I wrote free candy on the side of my submarine, because even octopus kids can't resist free candy. So then when they came up, I kidnapped the baby octopuses, and the, and the octopus mom and dad, they were so upset, they were screaming an octopus. I mean, I don't speak octopus, but they seemed very upset. So from there, I hopped on another non-stop flight over to Italy, and I went over to Papa John's house so he could cook me up a pizza. So he answered the door, and he called me a racial slur, because I guess that's just how he says hello. So then he cooked up the pizza with the octopi on it, and then he called the pizza a racial slur, and then he called me a racial slur. So from there, I hopped on another non-stop flight to North Africa, which is where the Sahara Desert is, and then I rented a camel and then wandered out into the middle of the Sahara Desert, and then my camel died of dehydration, so I lost the deposit on the camel. So I just kind of wandered around the Sahara Desert for a while, you know, I was dehydrated, so I was hallucinating, and I was starting to see things, and I saw a mirage, or I thought it was a mirage, but it turned out it was an actual blue cactus. So I took it, and then I blacked out from dehydration. So then I woke up in a pyramid hospital, and I said, well, thank you for saving my life, and then I hopped on another non-stop flight to India. I got a lot of frequent flyer miles on this trip. So then when I got to India, I saw a bunch of people gathered around worshipping a cow, and then I said, hey, I, I gotta take this cow to the vet because I think he has mad cow disease but really I just took it out back and I shot it and I butchered it for the meat and then I came out with two Big Macs. So from there I hopped on another non-stop flight over to NASA and then I had them send me on a rocket to Tatooine. But then when I got to Tatooine I got robbed by some Jawas and they were all like Ooh, and then when I was in Mos Eisley I found the McDonald's there. So I went through the drive through and they were like Ooh, and then I ordered that blue milk you wanted and they gave it to me and they, they, they said Ooh, and so after I came out of the drive through I saw they actually have a Chick-fil-A on Tatooine too, and it's open on Sundays because the days don't work the same there. So I went through the drive through at Chick-fil-A and they went, Fortini! and I got that chicken. So then from there, I, I, I hopped on a rocket and I went back to my house and then I went into my pantry and it turns out I actually already had a two month old expired can of Chef Boyardee ravioli and I had some Pop-Tarts, so I just took the crust off those. So yeah, you should be grateful that I brought all this food to you. So bon appetit, dig in, eat the cactus, I wanna see how that works. I'm not hungry anymore. Damn it, you pull the Lawrence Russell Brewer on me. There was another guy who ordered a bunch of food and then we brought it, he said he didn't even want it. Damn it, I knew you were gonna do this. I was halfway up Mount Everest and I said, I bet that little bastard doesn't even touch his food. But you know what, I'm taking this egg. I fought hard for this egg. Okay, let's go to the electric chair. Well, actually, I, I do want to eat. Oh, okay, we'll eat the cactus. Never mind. Yeah, that's right, come on, let's go. All right, Simmons, let him fry. All right, mate, let me just turn it on. Wait, 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 he didn't do it, I have proof. Show me. Look, right there, it's his other kid named Bully. He threw the peanut. Oh, man, that's lame. I wanted to fry him. Simmons, let him go. Uh, I'll go arrest this bully. Oh, thank you so much, Cody, for getting proof that wasn't me. Yeah, I'm not. Order, 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 order. Bully, it turns out you were the one who threw the peanut on your teacher's sandwich. Well, normally, Too much money on giving the last kid his final meal, and now we can't afford to turn the chair on. So, I suppose I have to sentence you to 100 days community service, picking up trash on the freeway. Ugh, picking up trash? I wanted the electric chair. I know, right? I wanted to see someone's pride. Dumb. Fooskiball? What's Fooskiball? It's a game PJ we're selling at a garage sale. I don't have 50 bucks, Jeffy. Well, I guess I left my garage sale for nothing. No, hold on, PJ. I just got to give my name to Puppy Dog Eyes. Works every time. Hey, buddy. Can you point and give me 50 bucks for my Fooskiball? No, Jeffy, we can't afford it. I hate you. Sorry, kid. Come back when you actually have to. <laughs> Jeffy, I'm sorry. We just don't have money to buy stupid stuff like that. Mommy, I got your place here. Oh, Jesus. 
you have money to buy food, but you don't have 50 bucks to give me for food skip all? Dang it, they forgot our root beer. Oh, I hate it when they forget our drinks. Leave the lowest review possible. Okay. Look, Jeffy, I got an idea. Why don't you become an Uber Eats driver? What do you Uber Eats? It's a food delivery service. So all, you just get paid to deliver people food. You can make 50 bucks in a day, and then you can buy your own damn food skip all. Okay. I'm going to go sign up right now. Baby, now that he has a job, he'll be out of the house, and that'll give us some alone time to get our chick fil a Yay! All right, Cody, it's your turn to bowl. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Strike, bitches! Wait, no, you're supposed to roll it. You can't throw it, Cody. Yeah, that's cheating! Hey, guys, I'm about to go to work. Oh, where do you work, Jeffy? I'm an Uber Eats driver, so I deliver people's food. Oh, but well, we're hungry, right, guys? Yeah! Well, can we ride with you? Yeah, sure, come on! Let's go, guys! Yeah. Ah! Mode. I love the smell of freshly cut grass. Honey, I'm done my own the lawn. I'm parched. Four big blocks of sun kissed. <sighs> hey! The sun kissed! I want it now! You go, my hot one in there. Thanks, honey. Thanks, you put in the ice in this? I've been out in the hot sun all day and you think I want to come inside and have some room temperature sun kissed? I'm sorry, I forgot. You got like three pieces of ice in my sun kissed. I'll go get you some. Well, I can't even trust you to pour me a decent glass of sun kiss. I don't think I can trust you to make dinner. I think we can just order some Uber Eats, maybe some Mexican, like a Jimmy Tango, and a chicken quesadilla with some chips and queso. That sounds good, honey. Kids, get down here. Yes, mother? I'm hungry. Well, me and your mother were thinking about ordering Mexican food tonight. Ooh, well, in that case, I would love some steak fajitas. Ooh, and some of that extra white stuff all over it. Sour queen? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that. Cheeseburger. Now, hold on just a second. You kids do your homework? Uh, no. Well, then you Mexican not have any food tonight, so go upstairs and do your homework. Aww. Let's try again tomorrow night. All right, honey, I'm going to order some of this Mexican food. Okay, Jeffy, where are we picking up food from? Hey, Jeff, we gotta get some Mexican food from a food truck. You guys like Mexican food? Last time my family got food from a food truck, my mom had to have part of her colon removed, and now she has a colostomy bag. All right, guys, I just got the food from the food truck. Can you guys hold the food for me while I drive? Yeah, I will. Give me back. Hold that one, Junior. Oh, it smells so good. All right, guys, hold this one. Yes, you do. Woo, this shit smells good. Let's see what they got. Oh, guys, they got a chicken quesadilla. Oh, and some queso. Wait, wait, does this say nachos? It sure does. Oh, nigga, I love nachos. Oh, Jeffy, can we eat some of it? Sure, I don't think they would mind. Just don't spill any in my car. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, we're here. Stop eating it and botch it back up. Hey, watch out, you almost stepped in a queso! No, Cody, I don't want any of the chimichangas. I got full off the nachos. But box it back up, because Jeffy has to deliver it. Oh, man. I hope you're hungry. Food's here. It is the food. Thank you, sir. Oh, it smells delicious. What the? There's queso everywhere. The driver must hit every speed bump on the way here. Still looks better than your cooking. Wait, what? What the hell is this? Is this a half-eaten quesadilla? What is that? And a half-eaten chimney? It looks like someone ate our food. This is unacceptable. I'm gonna have to file a complaint. All right, Jeffy, what's the next food place we're going to? I don't know, but I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, is this the Uber Eats driver? Yeah. Are you full? Cause you ain't have my goddamn food. Now I think you need to issue me a refund. No. No? What do you mean no? You ain't have my goddamn food and now you won't give me my money back? You need to give me a refund right now. You'll be fine. Who is that? I don't know. I think it was a prank call. But our next order is chicken filet. I love chicken filet. All right, Junior, I think there's some nuggies in here if you want a peep game. Oh, I want some nuggies. You guys want some nuggies? Yeah. I'm just going to sip on this milkshake for a little bit. Cookies and cream as fuck. Oh, honey, a chick fil A's almost here. Oh, good. I can't wait to eat my co-op salad with extra boiled egg. And I can't wait for my cookies and cream milkshake. I'm going to be a fat piece of shit tonight. But, Courtney, we're supposed to be on a diet. I'll go on the diet tomorrow. Tonight, cookies and cream. Courtney, you're already cheating on our diet. It's only day one. I cheat on everything, even you. What? Uh, hey, look, our food's almost here. I'm gonna go wait by the door like a dog. Cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream.
cream. Ooh, it's says he's pulling up cookies and cream. Does anyone see the house number 2159? No, I can't see anything. It's dark. And also, I'm eating chicken nuggets. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there he is. Milkshake time. Oh, I can't wait to drink it. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's probably just turning around. Guys, I can't find this house anywhere. Yeah, it's really dark. You can't see any of the house numbers. I think we should just go home because my stomach hurts really bad and I have to poop from eating all this food. Me too. Yeah, and we can keep all the food because this cookies and cream milkshake is yummy as tits. <laughs> okay, now it's milkshake time. Yummy. Wait, where the fuck are you going? I'm right here, dumbass. Oh, I'm gonna have to chase him down. Hey, hey, jerk off. I'm right here. Stop the car. Jesus, what is wrong with this guy? Hey. What the fuck is wrong with you? My house is back there. I couldn't see the numbers. Well, just give me my food and my milkshake. Okay. Jesus. Here's your food. Thank you. And here's your milkshake. Thanks. Wait, my milkshake is half fucking drink. Yeah, it was good. What? What the fuck? Wait, hey, 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 asshole, hey! God damn it, Karen! I'm so mad. I'm shaking. What's wrong, Pointy? That stupid ass, dumb ass, idiot ass ass Uber driver drove past the house twice. I had to chase him down, and then when I caught up with him, he drank half my goddamn.
separate his food from his poop and your food from his poop, so you two just split the poop 50-50 and figure it out. I'm going home. Jeffy, how is your Uber Eats job? Good, great. Hey, what are you doing here? My son is gonna poop in this container, and I'm gonna eat it. What? He ate my cookies and cream milkshake, and I want it back. So go on, Jeffy, squirt out my cookies and cream milkshake. Poop, poop, damn it, poop. Why won't you poop? That's disgusting. No, it's revenge. Poop. Oh man, Marvin, it's nice just having a boy's day, you know? Sit back, watching TV, drinking some brewskis. It is nice. I'm okay, I'm pissed. I'm going home. Wait, what happened? in the head with this football. That's a soccer ball. Oh, Marvin. Most of the world calls this a football. Hey, Daddy, have you seen my checkerboard ball? It's not called a checkerboard ball, Jeffy. It's called a soccer ball. Oh, that one didn't kill me, Daddy. But you can't play checkers on it, Jeffy. It's a soccer ball. What are you supposed to do with it? You're supposed to kick it. Oh, like this? I mean, yeah, but you can also hit it with your head. Okay. What? No, you're supposed to hit it in the air. Okay, like this? Yeah. Whoa, well, Marvin, did you see that? That was incredible. You sound to be a football player. football team to play for the Miami soccer team. They should have offered it to me. I would have played soccer in Saudi Arabia for $1.6 billion. He turned down $1.6 billion just to kick a ball around? Yeah, Marvin, football is the biggest sport in the world. It is? Yeah, 3.2 billion people watch it. I guess they were offering him like 50 cents per viewer. I wish I would offer me a billion dollars for this stupid soccer ball. I just got an idea. You know how your son just hit that ball? That was sick. I bet if we called up the Saudi Arabians and told them that your son was the next big football player, they'd give him a billion dollar contract. <sighs> He's never played soccer in his life. Well, maybe if you stop calling it soccer, they'll believe us. And look, if they do take it and give him a billion dollar contract, we can split the money because I came up with this idea. If they give him a billion dollar contract, I'll split the money. Okay, I'm gonna go call the Saudi Arabians. Hey Marvin, I got Prince Abu Dhabi, the owner of the Saudi Arabian football team. Prince Abu Dhabi heard that you're the next biggest football player. Oh, we do. He's right there. Yeah, here's Jeffy. Oh, oh. oh sorry, I had to remove my ass. Jeffy, nice to meet you. He does not look like a football player. Oh, oh he is. Uh, Marvin, give him a football. Let's show him what he can do. I don't know where the soccer ball is. What did you just call it? Uh, he, he said, he said football. Marvin, cut the shit. Uh, tell him what you can do, Jeffy. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, yeah, you like that shit. So can we have a million dollars, please? Well, not fine, but I'll tell you what. My football team is playing against the French Bulldogs tomorrow. So if your Jeffy goes on my team and be fit, I'll give him a one billion dollar contract. But, but the French Bulldogs have never lost. Exactly. Well, we're going to play him and we're going to win because I'm going to coach him. What, what do you know about football? I've seen the movie Kicking and Screaming, so I will fail. Oh, you got this shit! Okay, I will see you tomorrow! Yeah, alright, Marvin, we just made a billion dollars! No, we didn't! Jeffy has apparently somehow beat the best team in soccer! Well, we can do that! Well, no, you can't! You're a coach of soccer and you don't even have legs! <laughs> Marvin, I've always wanted to be a soccer player! You know how hard it is to not have legs? I can't even ride horses, I just fall off the back! We're gonna lose, we're not gonna get a billion dollars! Well, it's worth a try! Come on, Jeffy! Uh -huh. Okay, Jeffy, this is the soccer field. This is where they said the game was going to be. Hey, Jeffy, how's it going? You see your team over there? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jeffy, they're amazing. It's not going to be hard at all to win. Oh no, that's not your team over there. That's the French Bulldogs. Your team is over there. Pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it! Pass it. You distracted me! Oh dear god, they suck so bad. Oh yeah, it's a travel theater. Anyway, good luck! Come on, Jeffy, let's go meet your team. Okay. Okay, listen. This is how you kick the ball into the goal. You missed! I missed the game! Hey everybody. Oh, are you the guy we called about forfeiting? Uh, no, I'm actually the coach and this is your new teammate, Jeff. Is he good? Well, I've only ever seen him hit a ball with his head. He can do that? That means he's good. Yeah, so how long do we have to practice? Uh, game starts now. Yeah. Oh. Hello and welcome to the professional football exhibition game between the French Bulldogs and the Saudi Arabian Camels. 
The match will start now. Both teams take center field. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick pep talk to make sure we win. Oh no, we're not gonna beat them. The French Bulldogs are undefeated. Well, let's pretend they're not. But they are. Okay, well, let's pretend they're not. See, Jeffy here's gonna get a billion dollar contract if we win. So, if we win, I'm gonna give you guys like 20 million each. That seems fair? <laughs> That's nothing. I make 150 million per game. And I make 110 million dollars a season. Why? Because Saudi Arabia has money. Yeah, it seems like it. But he's gonna get a billion dollars? I'm not gonna try as hard now, because I want a billion dollars. You know, I just got my nails done, so. Wait, wait, you can't use your hands in football. Dude, she's the goalie. Oh, what? Okay, well, Jeffy, just play like you're gonna win a billion. Okay. Okay, it's time for the coin toss. France, since you're the away team, head to tail. Head. I said it was head. Okay, France goes first. Listen, I already know you guys are gonna win, so good game. It helped, but don't the hood. Jelly donut to you, too. Uh, coach, where do I go? Just go out into the field and try to steal the ball from him. Oh, you silly Americans. You can't make the French. Yeah, I get it. You're very good. No, we beat. Yeah, I know. I don't have any pants on. Hey, listen, how much money do you make? A billion dollars. I sold my life away. Jesus, I can't bribe you either. How much money does this goddamn sport make? A lot. Uh, coach, can you get off the field? Don't... Yeah, sorry. Oh, man, I hope Jeffy wins. Have you ever seen a male again? Are you the coach of the Saudi Arabian team? Uh, yeah, I am. Yes, you are going to lose badly. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? I am the coach of the French team. Jacques, Pierre, Francois. Why are you wearing a raincoat, Jacques? Because it's going to rain. For more six years, you are going to be crying. Yeah, well, smoking's bad for you. First team to score three goals wins. Let the match begin. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ah! 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 That is another goal! That makes it 2 to 0! One more goal and we win! Okay, time out. Huddle up, everybody! Ugh, guys, what the hell is going on out there? Coach, I don't want to be goalie anymore. I know, clearly you keep running away from the ball. And I hate running around. Oh, okay, then Beard Guy, you be the new goalie, and you, girl, and Jeffy, you run around and try to score points. Okay. Yes. Oh. I got it, I got it! Oh my god, the goalie's knocked out! Get up, you idiot! Hit it in, woman! Okay. We scored again! The game is tied! What are you doing, you blabbering idiot? Stop fighting! They just scored again and the game is tied! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You take me to get handled. I take you to get handled. Oh, I mean, get handled again. I'm again. What did you call me? The leading better. I'll tell you what I have for towel. You have to spread the word. Go lick it up. Oh.
I believed in you guys the whole time. No, you didn't. Yeah, you're right. Was my dad coaching the other team? Yes, he was. But look, we just won a billion dollars. What about our 20 million? Oh, well, you guys said you didn't need it, and to be honest, you don't. So come on, Jeffy. Oh, hell yes, I like that shit. Yeah, Marvin, you hear that? We're going to be billionaires. What, you actually won? Yeah, Daddy, I hit the game-winning goal and went my head. So you know what that means? Celebratory remote maps. I don't care what you put in your ass. You're about to sign a billion dollar contract. What did you just say? I, I, I said soccer. Oh, hell no! What that shit! What the hell? Marvel. What? Marvel, why did you have to say soccer? What the, what's the, that's what I call it! Where'd he go? He left because he said soccer. But we're still gonna get the billion dollars, right? No, we just lost a billion dollars because he said the word soccer. No, 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 the, the deal was if Jeffy won the game, we would get a billion dollar contract. It doesn't matter, Marvin. Everybody knows if you say the word soccer or you're associated with someone who says the word soccer, you don't know how to play the game. Well, clearly Jeffy knows how to play. He, he won the game. No, he said soccer. He knows what's wrong. So now what? Now I'm gonna go home because this was a waste of time. <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna watch TV. Jeffy, do you know where the remote is? Oh, yeah. We're here, Daddy. Oh. 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 Well, sniff. Uh -uh.